Hello everybody, Lofty here. Thanks for joining me again. Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, part two. Unfortunately, I don't think it's as much space as it is like an alien planet or something. There might, like I said, there might be a story, like more of a story now. Um, there's gotta be a faster way. Deconstruct? No, that's not it. Oh, right here. Cancel. Uh, that'll be good for now. The thing that I really like about this game is that it kind of takes every like gas and, and liquid into account. Uh, I would say everything, that's kind of broad. Um, so like right now we've got all this water, we've got all this oxygen, where uh, you can see we've got a little bit of carbon dioxide um, so like you know right here we've got 20 grams of carbon dioxide but like up here we've got you know over a kilogram of, of, of oxygen and like it's it's the kind of game where you you don't just get rid of all the bad stuff you have to figure out what to do with it um, oh, we get some hydrogen over here lots of hydrogen lots of plants exactly it's exactly like city skylines where you put the uh, you, you put the sewer right upstream of the drinking water, and that way, your people never get strong enough to overthrow you. So they're going to build these, and then we can start digging out some of this metal, which will let us... Oh, thank you, Embrick. Look at that, you got, a, you got this fancy... Where is it? Right here? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Panama. All right. I'm up to three now. Billy Billy got you both beat. Sorry. Wow, yeah. It, that game feels like it would take a literal civil engineer to actually get the traffic to work. Like I, After a lot of time, I've gotten close to getting something decent looking, but it's still... I think it was probably with a mod. And it was also like, yeah, it technically works, but there's people just everywhere. Oh, what happened here? That's not good. Let's fill that in. Oh, and then we gotta set what these things have. Uh, let's put like metal and mineral in one. Filtration medium. Oh, sand. Oh, that's probably what happened here is the sand fell. I'll put dirt in here too. And then in this one, we'll put, um, did I put sand in the other one? Let's keep this one for less dirty stuff. What's organic? Oh, the algae. Algae can turn into, uh, can turn into oxygen, so that'll be good. Oh, we can assign these beds. Ashkin and May. We'll put Stinky over here. I know he might not actually be Stinky, but we'll just keep him away from the other two for now. So we're also going to want a generator, and in this game your generator is a hamster wheel! At least to start off with, because we also need food. So yeah, this just says converts manual labor into electrical power. And then the micro musher uh, produces low quality food using common ingredients. So you can fabricate berry sludges, mush bars, and lice loaf. I'm not sure which one of those sounds worse. Uh, if the battery's only one, I can put one next to it. It is. Let's put a battery there too. So we don't have to have people constantly running to have power. So they'll go ahead and build all of that. In order to carry liquids from place to place, the duplicants will need to be able to bottle them for transport. Yes, this is all new since I played last. If I build the pitcher pumps from the plumbing tab over pools of liquid, my duplicants will be able to bottle them. Then they'll automatically deliver the bottles wherever they need to go. Interesting. You know, I guess if we just have the lice kind of all around and then we're... Just picking them off of each other and then turning them into food? I guess it's better than starving to death. 
I don't know if personally I would like that over starving to death. So let's try this out. Let's let's get this going. It's a pitcher pump. It's got like a hose on it. Okay. So where do I what do I like this? I guess we do it like this. Can't well those are all full anyways. Let's let's hold off on that for now. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Okay, he's just gonna... Well, yes, he's powering up the battery, so that's good. Oh, yeah, these look great. So we got the mush bar, an edible putrefied mud slop. They are preferable to starvation, but only just barely. So they're, they got the same mindset I have here. The ingredients are dirt and water. It's literally just mud. Uh, 800 kcal calories. I'm just gonna call them calories. I'm not a nutritionist. The quality is negative one, and most duplicants experience stomach upset from this meal, aka diarrhea. Uh, lice loaf, yeah, meal lice compacted into a dense immobile loaf. I'm not really sure that the word immobile is helping its, uh, Helping its case there. It does have more calories though. Wow. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to make mush bars. So let's just queue. We have three people. Let's queue six of them up. Oh god, that's just disgusting. Um we'll make that priority four. Food's important. I think I have hopefully I have enough dirt. Let's start digging this out too. I want, I want to wait until we have something under it. So it's just fall in the water there. I got some stuff here. Oh, blossom seeds. Is that the... No, that was called bristleberry, I think. I got muck root. Oh, up here is mealwood. That's those meal lice? I think? Yeah, mealwoods produce meal lice, an oddly wriggly grain that can be harvested for food. Oh, that's right, I forgot about the, uh, the germ update. See, like I said, there's been so many updates, and I, it hasn't even been, like, a terribly long time since I stopped playing this. Germs are an invisible peril that cause disease in my duplicates. The germ overlay allows me to view all germ concentrations in the colony and the sources that are spawning them. Well, I mean, pretty sure this is a source that spawns them. I can build wash basins in dirty areas from the medicine tab to tell duplicants where to wash up. If I keep the base clean and the duplicants hygienic, their immunity should handle the rest. That's good. I think, yeah, up here it shows everyone's immune systems and everyone's stress. So right now we're doing good, but it's, you know, obviously still just day one. I probably need the bottles of water for that. And I know the research stations are how you unlock everything, obviously. Let's just keep this going for now. I want to get some, some more space, because right now we just have no space. What are you doing, Stinky? No one's looking at you. I, well, I'm looking at you. What, thumbs down? You didn't like that experience? What do the germs look like? Is that that's a, an overlay, I assume? Disinfect. Oh god, they're covered! They're covered in germs! <laughs> well, see, here's the thing. I don't... I don't listen. You should know this by now. I would say I don't read, but I, I try to read. It's not my fault I can't. So they're covered in germs, this thing's covered in germs. I probably need to move these and put a wash basin out there. I wasn't listening. Uh, I'd tell you what I said, but I forgot. Uh, alright, let's move these. Oh no.
We're gonna lose all our water. What happened? What happened there? Hold on. We gotta build tile there. Um, I think the water does kind of seep through stuff over time. So let's set that to a high priority so they do it pretty early in the day. What the heck is he doing? Oh, he's disinfecting. They're disinfecting each other. They're disinfecting everything. That's pretty cool. So it's not as huge of a deal as I thought. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking too. Look how happy everyone is though. They're talking to each other. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and start getting some of this set up. I'm probably going to be pausing a little bit um, early on here just so I don't let things get out of hand. I think that this must have to be in place of ground because if I set it up here, the like pipe goes away. So we're going to build a... I forgot what it was called already. A wash basin? wash basin right next to the restroom and instead you can set it so whichever direction they pass they'll wash up so obviously we'll have them wash up when they're done at the restroom we need to get this plugged up yeah i know may i know there's water everywhere that's what we're dealing with here oh are they making food I wasn't paying attention. Here, let's store everything in here. Everything edible. We need to seriously get this done. What? Are, oh, they're building that first. So that, yeah, that doesn't need water. Set direction left. Does that mean it's automatically on, on right? I'm going to assume it's automatically on right. It doesn't really show you, though. Use direction both. Huh. I suppose that works, too. Oh, yeah, here we go. Make those mush bars. Oh, yeah, that looks so appetizing. It's just cranking it out. I mean, how can you look at this scene and just not get hungry? Oh yeah, good stuff. He has, yeah, see, Ashkin's happy. Now he's gonna make one too. How are our germs? <laughs> I bet our germs are- our germs are looking fine. Uh, I mean, relatively, I suppose. Oh, right, I need to remake those, uh, storage compactors. We'll just build one for now. Oh, does that not work? Oh, that doesn't work. How do we get them to actually use it? It doesn't have a priority. They're, they are just using it. Okay. I bet you guys are gonna head out and get your own mush bars right about now. I wasn't hungry before, but... Woo! I hope they pick it up. I know, just leave it on the floor. Like... Oh. Now they'll put it in there. Okay. I see. What, uh, maybe I just need to set this... Everything edible. Just put everything edible in here. Put the ration boxes back in there too. There we go. So now we have access to water. This has stopped. Apparently there is food poisoning on the wash basin already. <laughs> oh, you're, you're gonna hold off for that lice loaf? All right, sounds good to me. Apparently, our wash basin we just built already has some food poisoning on it. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure that's fine. <laughs> 